Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for free premium sports picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there, Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there's a big fight happening this weekend. In fact, it's a big event. If you haven't heard about it, you need to learn more and you need to Google the fighters. Now, Gabe Rosado, the king, right? That's the nickname. He's fighting Brian Vera. But understand the rules of the event are different. This is a big knockout boxing sanctioned event. People need to understand that big knockout boxing is not traditional boxing. Traditional boxing has three minute rounds. Big knockout boxing has two minute rounds. In traditional boxing, for some fights, it's 12 rounds. For other fights, it's 10 rounds. For other fights, it's eight rounds. For big knockout boxing, right the fights are typically five or seven rounds right just five or seven but the biggest thing that you need to think about other than the length of the fight right is the uh, fact that the fight itself is going to be different because they're going to be fighting in an area we can't even call it a ring. It's an area that's going to be just 17 feet across. Understand, the area they're fighting in is going to be half the size of a traditional boxing ring. The goal is to put the knockout back into boxing. Understand, this favors front foot heavy aggressive knockout punchers. It doesn't favor guys who want that extra space to move around the ring the guys who are up on their toes moving are gonna have problems in this format this format is really more tailored for let's say Adrian Broner than it is someone like Andre Durrell so before you bet on this fight you need to read the rules about the fight because, folks, this entire outfit, this entire presentation is different, right? The focus is on chaos, not traditional boxing. You should not consider this event to be a traditional boxing event, right? Betting-wise, I'm on the sidelines. I need to find out more before... I jump in the water, right? But if you're someone who's tracking the evolution of the art of fighting, if you're someone interested in, let's say, MMA, for example, and are looking for some hybrid between boxing and MMA, this might be one place you want to look. Pay attention to the fight. It's Gabe Rosado against Brian Vera. Pay attention to how the action differs from traditional boxing. I'm very curious to hear the views of the loser after the fight, right? The winner is just going to be, you know, out celebrating and saying, I, I want to thank my corner. I want to thank my city. But the loser, that person's going to actually tell you about the gap between what they expected and what it was, what they hoped to do, and how it actually happened. So this is an event. Take a look at it. The name of the outfit is Big Knockout Boxing. It's owned by Direct TV. Right? Take a look at it. Um, you know, I'm a libertarian. You know, I like decentralized power. There seems to be a shift toward these groups like the UFC and DirecTV, right? Um, you know, take that for what it is, centralized power in combat sports. 
Uh, this is a DirecTV venture, and uh, it's something to take a look at. They have two lively fighters. My own personal knock on Gabe Rosado is that he doesn't move enough, right? He fights too much. Maybe what's a shortcoming in traditional boxing is actually a blessing in this venue. We shall see. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.